Hey guys, it's Kylie and I'm back with another video. Today is going to be a tie-dyeing video. Um, this one's just going to be a spiral um, is what we're going to do. So what you'll need is your dyes, um, gloves, elastics, a shirt, um, definitely paper towels. So first I'm going to start by spiraling the shirt. I'll show you how to do that. I'll just take off these gloves. Um, Make sure your surface is clean and doesn't have any dye if you were, this is a second project. So I'm gonna first take my shirt and I'm gonna dip it in water. These are buckets of water. Ooh, that's a bucket of water. Just get a damp. You don't want a drenched. So I'm gonna just take that and squeeze it out. Okay, so here's your shirt. It's damp, it's not soaking wet. Now I'll lay it out. And I'm gonna spiral it. So the easiest way to spiral is take it from the middle and twist. You might have to just keep any twist. And then once you get to the end, you just take the outsides and you twist them around like in the continuous motion that it was going in. Start to take your elastics. Put it on the outsides. It's gonna look like a pizza when you're done with the elastics. Make sure these like extra pieces get hooked under the elastics so that they go with the piece that they're supposed to to continue the spiral. Okay. I'm gonna do three colors for this one. So I'm gonna make it into six things, so use three elastics. So here we go, here's what it looks like. Let's see if it'll focus on that. It looks like a pizza, this is like your middle. And then your six triangles, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm gonna tilt this. I'm gonna try to, there you go, so you're right on top. Um, I like to pull out a piece of paper towel just to have it handy. Um, put on your gloves. Oops, that glove's got a hole in it. Some new gloves. My hands are already kind of tie-dyed. This is like my fifth shirt today, so. I was making another video that probably go up actually might go up before that I don't know which one will go up first but I have at least two tie-dye videos I'm doing okay. so my colors for this one are gonna be pink pink purple and I'm gonna do red. Oh, I'll do blue. And blue. So it's like a. These are the three. If you see it by the cover. So I'm gonna just pop off the covers. Be careful when you do these that you don't squeeze the bottle or the dye will go through. There. Okay. Now you dye them. You dye. I'd start with the top, do the top first, each triangle, make a different color. So we're going to do a pink one here, which means this one across from it is also going to be pink. I really want to get the dye in there. And then next to that, I'm going to do a blue one. Make sure you get in all the cracks. And 
Okay, and then we're gonna do a purple. And it's okay if the dye gets on. It's homemade, it's not gonna look perfect like store-bought, but it takes practice to make it look better. The shirt I have on, I did do a couple years ago. You also want to make tie-dye when you're in clothes that you don't mind getting a little dye on because sometimes the bottles will squirt out by accident when you don't expect them to. Okay. Make sure the inside circle has some too. Okay. So there's your top layer. And then I'm going to take my paper towel. So I'm going to grab it. I'm going to pick it up. I'm just going to clean the table off. Get this extra dye because I'm going to flip it. And I don't want... Okay, so you can see based on like these edges which color goes where so like this one right here is blue So I'm going to do that and on the back you really gotta put a little bit more dye because you can see all the All the little indents because that's where it really gets the look So make sure you really put a, a bunch of dye on the back So it's hard to tell, but there's a little pink square in there. So I'm actually just gonna throw the pink in there before I totally accidentally cover it up. So like underneath these blue layers, and then the pink's over here. And then I'll continue finishing the two I was working on. I just wanna make sure that it didn't get covered up. I am doing this in my garage, so if you hear a bunch of noises, it's my neighbors are having a party, so. And near purple. And fruit, you don't have to, like, I do this pretty fast if you take your time on it. See, if you open these cracks up, if you see white, these ones are all blue, but if some of these in here, they're white, I just threw some pink in there to make sure that they all, it comes out pretty solid colored and there's not a lot of white spots. You can also squeeze it a little, each triangle a little. See, my table gets, I'm just gonna wipe that up. And I'm gonna plastic back, put it in a plastic, oop, actually, get some pink in there. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna put it in a plastic bag once I'm satisfied and let it sit for 12 to 48 hours, 12 to 24 hours. The longer it sits, the just more time it has to seep in, so it's okay if it goes over. They tell you to do six to eight. I've always done 12 to 24. Um, I just find that the colors come out a little bit better. I've had ones that I've only done it for like four hours and it still comes out good. But you wanna just let it sit, preferably overnight, and then you can rinse it out in the morning. And I will show you what this looks like when I rinse it out. I can even get this back. You can also wrap it in plastic wrap if you don't have a bag. All right. There we go. Just take it. Wrap it up. Dye it tight. That way it keeps all the dye in. And ta da! Now, I'll let this sit for the time and then I will rinse it out and show you what it looks like. Okay guys, so I let this sit for 12 to 24 hours and then washed it out. I rinsed it in the sink and then washed it. And this is the final product it came out like. So you have the spiral design in the middle, up to the, up on all the way around. I think it came out very good, um, compared to some of the other ones I did. Um, I washed it with only uh, other tie-dye shirts so that the, the dye comes off onto anything that like you care about. And yeah, so this is the final product. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. And check out my other tie-dye video of the Mickey tie-dye. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below any ideas you have. Thanks!